woman with long hair became the target of the piranhas, which clamped onto her hair, relentlessly pulling her into the water. She screamed in agony, but how could the piranhas easily let go? Before long, she couldn't hold on and became lunch for the piranhas. The remaining survivors, rushing to the other side, narrowly escaped with their lives. However, at that moment, Jack suddenly untied the rope from himself and fastened it around his own body. He was determined to rescue the girl in the cabin. By now, the water had risen to the edge of the cabinets, and piranhas continuously leaped out of the water, attacking the girl. Time was running out. To divert the piranhas, Jack reluctantly threw his companion's body into the lake, the scent of blood attracting the piranhas away. Seizing the opportunity, Jack swiftly dove into the cabin from another side. He opened all the guest hangs and successfully reunited with the girl. Using a walkie-talkie, he informed his mother to start the boat in 10 seconds to pull them out. After delivering the message, he tossed the lit flare. By now, the schools of fish have returned. In the split second before the cabin exploded, the boat started pulling the two of them out.